Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Listen, it's a beautiful day today. We actually going outside. You know, it's like people tell me all the time, it's like, oh my god, Joe went outside. <laughs> you know, it's like people act like I don't go outside outside. Like, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, man. Alright. So today I'm gonna talk about a few reasons why as a junior developer you're still not hired, right? So pretty much you're probably not hired because you don't have a, a very good portfolio and you're probably like oh i already know that sorry guys i'm making a little filet mignon actually i think i let it burn yeah let it burn a little bit so you're probably asking yourself why are you not hired right now it's very simple guys you have to actually sell yourself you can't expect like somebody to come to your your github and your github page and be like oh yeah this guy, he could do a little to-do app. Oh, he could, you know, sort some arrays. Nobody cares about those things, right? What they care about is, hey, can this guy hit the ground running? Can this guy create a very complex design from, you know, just a regular PSD, a JPEG, a PNG? Can he create that page that we give him? So you must demonstrate the skills, you know, as far as CSS, the skills to show that you're actually a good developer and you're not just some guy trying to get into the industry. You gotta show people that you're actually been in the industry for a long time, even though you never had a job as a web developer. You gotta show people, yeah, I can do this. You want me to build this page for you? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. You know, that's what you gotta do. Also, you gotta be part of the community. You can't expect people to think, oh yeah, this guy is a great developer, and then you've never contributed to anything. You gotta, you know, show that when they search your name, they Google your name, your name actually shows up as a developer. It don't show up, you know, Josh Smith, the taxi driver, or Josh Smith, the freaking, I don't know, the, the chef, or Josh Smith, the fucking the security guard you have to show that you're actually out here meaning you're either contributing to projects or you're actually just you know have projects out there meaning like you know you created a cool web page and at the bottom it says designed or developed by Josh Smith so when they google your name those pages show up you know join hash node, join github, join stack overflow, put it with your name. Don't come in here and, and create just your a fake account of, you know, Johnny Bangs 24, you know? <laughs> don't, don't use those type of nicknames for, for your account. Go ahead, put your real name, put in your, your real information. You know, that, that, that thing is valuable. You know, your name is the most valuable thing that you have. You know, so that's one of the, the things that I would say you gotta work on. Also, in interviews, don't be nervous. Don't think like, oh my God, I'm a junior developer. I've never had a job. I've never done this before. Don't think like that. Think of like, I've worked before, or if you haven't worked, you've talked to people before. Just This person is just a regular person. This person doesn't hold your, your history. This person doesn't hold your destiny. This person is just a regular person who's gonna hire you. Who cares? If you don't like you, big deal. You know, at any moment you can go and do something else. You know what I mean? So, that's how you gotta think, man. You know, I'm over here still cooking a little, a little something, a little steak, a little filet mignon. I actually, I think I burnt it a little bit, but that's fine. Cause I like my meat well done. So to me that's beautiful right there. You know, definitely worth the oops, definitely worth the $32 that I spent on it. So it's fine. That's great. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, like you have to do your thing out here. And when I say that, it's just 
do all the projects that I give you. Don't just expect to get hired just because you did a course on, on Udemy. Don't expect to get hired just because you applied. Yes, they need developers, but they know, they're not just gonna hire you just because you applied. You have to compete with a couple of people. Imagine this, I have 5,000 people who subscribe to me. Out of those 5,000 people, probably 80% are trying to get into the, the industry. Out of those 80%, from that 80, probably 50% are gonna go start looking for jobs at the same time as you. So what does that tell you? This probably about, I don't know, 2,500, maybe 2,300, 2,200 people who are gonna start applying to jobs at the same time as you. So what makes you better than them? What makes you a better developer than them? So that's the question, you know what I mean? So that's what I would say. Now, of course you can listen to me or not listen to me. It's, it's your choice. I'm already in it. You know, most of these people will come here and give you advice and they're not even in the industry. You know, me at least, you know that I'm in the industry and I work, you know, nine to five as a web developer where you want to be. So I'm giving you an inside to this life, to this type of work, this environment. So just take my advice, listen to me and you'll be golden guys, you know. But yeah, man. It was just a quick video that I wanted to do. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys later. Bow, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Once again. <laughs> guys, listen. Like I always tell you, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And always, you know, if I put you on, on some new course, check it out. You don't have to buy it. You could go to udemy.com by yourself and buy it on your own. Or you could support the channel. Click on the link and buy it through there. Which basically throws me like a dollar or two. Now, of course, if you don't want to, it's fine. Go ahead, go through udemy.com directly and you know, just take the courses, but take advantage, all right? Bow. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you wanna know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no, secret gift that I had is just pretty much I took the courses they're pretty cheap they're like $15 each on specials and just listen man change your life change your lifestyle do something fun and something cool that you could call a career Bow.